Today I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's a game controller, hanger, display, charging station hanger for controllers, display. I know that sounds redundant, but that's only because you heard me say it twice. It's a controller charging bar, like for drunk controllers. I'm just kidding. It's not that kind of bar, unless, unless, unless you wanna get drunk controller. You wanna, wanna get drunk? This will hold nine controllers while keeping four to six controllers fully charged. So you and three to five friends can enjoy lots of co-op gaming while the other people you invited to the party can slowly realize that you invited them only because it would make you look good from a social perspective. But really, I mean, they know. They, they know, they, they should have known earlier, really, when you were like, so, do you wanna come over and hold some dead controllers while my real friends play video games and bring beer? Mostly I play alone. So having six controllers charged at all times is pretty dumb. But what if I stub my toe on a magical stair banister and then I grow a bunch of extra arms and at that same moment, a new single player video game that requires six controllers to be used simultaneously gets announced and released all at the same time. And I'm the only one who can play it. That means lots of views for my channel. So many views, I can't even count them on my new 72 fingers. Now who's the pretty dumb one? You, you're dumb. Subscribe. Ingredient number one, a USB charger with multiple ports. Ingredient number two, wood. You'll need at least three pieces of wood. I'll get more into that later when I detail the steps. Ingredient number three, controller mounts. There are a lot of options here. I went with this bold company who thinks it's a good business move to give their product an impossible to pronounce name. Good work. Oh, I a priori, a wap, a wap, a prior, a prior, a prior. That's just that's just dumb. And if your company is named after your surname, then curses to you and your ancestors. I like these mounts because they are indestructible. Ingredient number four: USB cables. The cables you choose will depend on the controllers you wish to mount. <laughs> Because I'm mounting PS4 controllers, I use USB 2 to micro USB cables. Yes, there are some USB-C Nintendo Switch controllers on display, but for those, I actually bypass the USB charger entirely, and I plug those directly into a USB 3 port on my wall. Uh, this is optional. You might also be able to daisy chain USB chargers together, but I decided not to do that because it's not Christian. But no matter what you decide to do with your uh, personal controller mounting life, I do recommend using braided cables because there is a lot of twisting and pulling when mounting these things. Don't look into this situation that's happening right now. These are, let's just, you know, let's just watch. Uh, let's watch it for what it is. This, the beautiful manufacture of controllers that we're seeing. Ingredient number five, stickies, or really any way to mount the display to the wall. I choose the Velcro uh, command strip st st style strips. Uh, they work great. And I do find myself removing the displays a lot, mostly to get dumb footage for a dumb YouTube, dumb DIY videos. But I do recommend the Velcro style. Uh, but if you're more of a risk-taking badass, do something more permanent and live with those choices, like murder a neighbor or use screws. Step number one, cut the wood. Here, uh, I'll draw for you what I'm going for. First, I'm gonna start off by maybe drawing a controller up here so you can get a sense of the scale. This is gonna be the controller to scale. Uh, and this is the controller on a scale. And this controller is feeling bad because of that. Society says, controller, you should be a frowny face controller. And then some stuff like this, cause he's concerned. He's like, I don't know why I should feel so bad, but I do. And here's some tears crying because he's very sad about his weight you know what I'm, I'm getting off track here okay so what we want to do is you need a piece of wood that's gonna be wider than the controller right or at least wider than the controller mount here's the mount that will we'll call it the mount you want to be wider than that and so here's your 3d piece of wood I'm getting fancy now so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the pieces that go here so there's gonna be I, I used two different pieces here for me but uh, you can cut yours better and have have more than or have fewer than two but basically these little things that are kind of like the legs of the table like just really wide legs these need to be wider the depth there needs to be greater there you go than your uh, controller USB controller pack controller port charger these are the cords that go up and charge the controllers this is gonna be your 
power cable that goes plugs plugs into the wall or into a pig snout because they're kind of the same. I'm not going to draw a pig snout. Okay, so yeah, this distance right here needs to be greater than this distance. Uh, I did not do that on mine. I messed up. But you are smarter than me, so you will not mess up. Okay? And so this view here, over here, if you, if you kind of move over here a little bit, the profile of that, or the silhouette maybe? I don't know if those are the same. It's kind of just this, right? And then your controller charger is there. So right, this is this. That's a pretty good diagram, right? I think if you do that, you'll be able to turn your controller frown into a controller smile. And if you hold this controller's mouth, you will get carpal tunnel syndrome. Step number two, assemble the wood. Uh, here's where your sort of hollow half rectangle tube thing comes together. Step number three, drill the holes. Uh, do some measuring, make sure the holes are big enough to receive the tip of the USB cable, and make sure they are distant enough to not be reprimanded by their parents for receiving the USB cable, especially when they had such a promising future ahead of them. But now, they're just going to be elbow deep in USB cable diapers. Bad choices. Number four, step, step number four, stuff the USB charger and cables behind the display. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, just plug in the cables and curl them in a way that makes everything fit below the height of the table. Uh, I use these coaxial nail-in clips. Ah, oh, crap. Ingredient number six, coaxial nail-in clips. I use these things to keep uh, everything organized. Step number five, adhere the controller mounts to the front of the display. Nothing, nothing else there. That's pretty straightforward. Step number six, adhere the display to the wall. Again, I use the Velcro uh, thingies. That's, that's when that object will come into use here. Step number seven, plug stuff in and display those controllers. And that's it. That's all. It looks great, right? Tweet at me if you decide to make this display thing. I would love to see pictures. Or tweet at me if you have alternate takes on this idea that you would like to share. Or tweet at me if you're a bird.